What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you had a good week. Today I thought I'd make an addition to my Leadership is Mail series. So let's delve in. Hello everyone. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Alan. One argument some egalitarians make is what I call the prophetess argument. They claim that since there were women prophets, this provides a precedent for leadership duties for women today. Professor Linda Belleville writes, Perhaps the best-known female prophet during the period of monarchy is Huldah, who was active during the time of Jeremiah and Zephaniah. It was to her that King Josiah sent a delegation to inquire about the Book of the Law that had been discovered while the temple was being renovated, and it was Huldah's warning to obey everything written in this book that brought about the well-known religious reforms of the 7th century BC. There are also references to a number of unnamed women prophets. The prophet Isaiah, for example, was instructed to marry the prophetess, and the prophet Ezekiel pronounced judgment against the daughters of Judah, who prophesied out of their own imagination. These examples suggest that women were routinely called and readily accepted as prophets of Israel. There are some major problems with the prophetess argument, which have been pointed out by Wayne Grudem and others. First, despite the fact that there were prophetesses in the Old Testament, there were, however, no female priests. The office of a prophet was surely an important one, but prophets and teachers have different duties in the Bible. I mentioned this before when we discussed the subject of prophets in my series on the New Apostolic Reformation, but a prophet is someone who receives a message from the Lord and delivers that message to God's people without altering it in any way. So for example, in the book of Numbers, Balaam points out that he must be careful to say only what the Lord has put in his mouth. In the Old Covenant, it was the priests who were given the task of instructing. They taught God's laws and ordinances to God's people. The duty of teaching was reserved for the priests. And of course, we see the same kind of pattern in the New Covenant. There are examples of prophetesses in the New Testament, but not a single example of a woman pastor, elder, or overseer. In fact, we have two strong prohibitions against women holding this office in 1 Corinthians 14 and 1 Timothy 2. Second, in the Old Testament, prophetesses always prophesied privately or to other women. It is noteworthy that in Exodus 15, Miriam prophesied to the women of Israel. In Judges 4, Barak appeared privately to Deborah. And in 2 Kings 22, Huldah gave her prophecy privately to the king's five messengers. In summation one, there are no examples of female priests in the Old Testament and no examples of female pastors in the New. Explaining God's law and expounding God's word are quite different from prophesying. Two, even in the case of Old Testament prophetesses, they only prophesied privately or to other women. Prophecy involves delivering God's message without altering it in any way to God's people. Teaching and instructing involve explaining God's law and expounding God's word. And this duty is restricted to qualified males alone in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. The source material which I used for this video is provided in the video description below. My analysis is primarily derived from the work of Dr. Wayne Grudem. All right, that's a wrap for now. Ladies and gents, if you want to share your own thoughts, be sure to do so in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. Have an awesome week. And for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.